Earthman stands at the threshold of the space age. But have men from other planets already found their way to our world? Unidentified objects in the sky have been reported all over the world, documented, often scoffed at, never explained. In the past decade, the mounting accumulation of evidence again demands our attention. The launching of the satellites from our Earth proves that such things are within the realm of possibility. But still, what are flying saucers? Where are they from? Official papers on the subject issued by the government agencies have discussed the existence of saucers, and yet the rumors and reported sightings persist. And because so many of you have asked for it, we turn again to the research studies of scientist Walter Reed and Associates. Now, their findings are a summary of the most important information gathered to date and pictured by animation camera. How much is actual fact? How much is fantasy? We'll let you judge for yourself. Here's the report. Dallas, Texas. Nine objects sighted flying at around 1,000 miles an hour. Calcutta, India. Sky watchers reported a disk with high velocity flying from east to west. New York City. Flying saucers again reported over American cities. Furstenfeldbruck, Germany. Flying saucers observed over the military airport. Moscow, Russia. Report flying disks. Arabia. Flying disks seen flying with high velocity and disappear. But reports were mostly from America. From Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, California, other parts of the world, cars were stalled by some electronic force. There were new reports from other parts, India, Germany, Egypt, England, but little information leaked out from behind the Iron Curtain. Many shapes of flying objects have been documented. Here are some of the types described. saucer-like disc, often reported to have a small half-dome top. A few pilots reported seeing rows of glowing ports or windows along the saucer rims. Some showed a long plume of jet flame at the rear. This, of course, suggests a rocket jet. But in other cases, there was no noise and no rear flame. In other words, they fly by means unknown to us. Spherical objects are among the most common. Yet the strangest observations are those of rings and double halos. In some cases, giant saucers of immense proportions. One such giant saucer was sighted at the same time from two towns 158 miles apart. Its diameter estimated to be at least a thousand feet. Many people still contend that flying saucers are only mirages. Scientists know that mirages do occur if layers of air sandwiched on top of each other have considerably different temperatures. Weather experts call this condition an inversion. Looking against such an inversion, a person on the ground may see a reflection of a remote source of light. This will appear to him as if the radiating object is actually higher in the sky. If the source of light moves, the reflection will appear to move, giving the impression of coming from an object in much higher altitudes. Identical types of mirages may be observed from an airplane flying above an inversion. The reflected light from heavenly bodies can fool the pilot of a plane as it moves along below his ship, apparently at the same speed. Mirages do occur, but how do they explain sightings such as these? The crew of a plane flying at night saw a cigar-shaped object with brightly colored windows. When the two ships passed closely by each other, the reporting crew felt a rocking of their ship. Chains of lights were seen several nights in a row by the people of a Texas town. 
It was reported they were flying in formation. Can flying rings and double halos be discounted as nothing but mirages? A Geiger counter on 24-hour watch in the High Sierras for measurement of space radiation indicated an increase 100-fold in the counting rate during the passing of sighted flying saucers. When directly over the station, the radiation increased suddenly, and after the saucers passed, decreased slowly to a normal counting frequency. Some people still insist the flying saucer is a secret weapon of Russia. But would a country dare test fly highly secret aircraft over a foreign territory? Why not better suppose that saucers are the latest addition to the United States Air Force? We can only speculate and wonder. Are flying saucers interplanetary, or are they a result of mass hysteria? Are they a bubble of fantasy that will break? If they are real and not from this world, we can only conclude that life exists on other planets. There is no direct proof, neither is there proof against it. The mystery of the flying saucer, the greatest mystery of the 20th century, is still without solution.